Oh, great. I now I get a bad pairing. Hopefully that means that Jose is a bad pairing. Someone can chat can tell me. Does Jose have a bad pairing here too, or is he playing someone weaker? Oh, I missed. Yeah, I should not have allowed this. Now I'm probably just worse. Great. Lovely. Um, Let's just go here, Knight of Five. He's playing a weak player. Oh, that's annoying. That, I mean, that's why I should have made the draw. Because if I make the draw there, this would be much closer. But so early in the event, we would make a repetition. It's Castle. Um, I can go C6, maybe. I can also play e6, but e6 is very flat. e6 is too drawish. Uh, if I go c6, take six, takes f6, knight d7, queen c6, queen f3. I'm going to go for this one. There's also knight, actually, wait, there's knight d4, maybe. Let's go knight d4. So I can take or take. Queen c4, I take. Goes here, I take. I mean, it's not wonderful, but I got the imbalance in the pawn structure, the 4v3 with an open diagonal, so it should be what I want. You're not worse. Everybody is beautiful. <laughs> Are we back into that we're into to that routine? Yes. Like, queen d3, knight c6, takes, takes, and rook d8. And I mean, I'm not really better, per se, but it's playable, at least. Queen d3, I might even have rook d8, actually, now that I'm looking at it more. Yeah, I think I'm going to go rook d8 here. I'm going to try to get really cheeky. Except that's just a bad move. He could have played queen c4, which he missed. It takes, takes. He's going to go queen f3 to make the draw. But I don't really have a choice. I have to take. Oh, he goes queen c4 here. Interesting. So he doesn't actually play the line I expected. So I take, of course. He trades. Um... Obviously, I should take with this rook and go like e6. Because now there's pressure on the c file. I mean, not that like there's anything special or to write home about, but at least I can try to claim something maybe down the road. Maybe. Probably not, but. Um, I'll just go a6 and maybe b5 here. It's not wonderful, but if I can get him a little bit lower on time, something good will happen. Wait. Uh, he wants to go... Yeah, I mean, this is not wonderful, but it also is not terrible either. It's actually, this is not great, though. How do I do this? Bishop d4. I go here and work a7. That's probably the best way to play it. Yeah, Jose won his game because he's getting easy players. I really, I have this bad feeling that me not, me not taking the repetition against him is probably going to cost me dearly down the road. The feeling I have. I guess I'll go... Wait, rook c7 allows nice. King g7 is no good. h6 is no good. Be very careful suddenly. If I go h6. I'm going to play h6 here. Here. Not sure what I'm doing in this game. Yeah, I blunder rook f7. Or wait, is that a blunder or not? Wait, takes here, bishop c5, f3 here, e4, d7. No, I think I'm winning. I got lucky. I tricked him. I tricked him. I, I have king e8, king d7. The knight is dead. The horse is stuck. The horse is done. Jocelyn's playing God. Okay, so he got a tough game, finally. Okay, time to resign. I mean, this should just be winning. Takes and... And... So... It's the right color pawn on this side of the board, most importantly. Oh, what did I... I was supposed to play G5. Oh my god, I just blundered. Maybe I'm still winning. 
I think I'm still winning, but ay ay ay. Go here. This is tricky. I think I'm still winning, but I'm not sure. But now I can go here and cut off the pawn. The pawn doesn't even get to h7 anymore. Yeah, I think I'm just winning. But bishop c1. That's it. GG. Let's go next game. It was actually a draw when it once I allowed a3, but whatever. Let's go again. Not a good game. Hopefully, Gata loses. Or not Gata loses. Hopefully, J Jocelyn loses. And of course, I get Nico, who's not playing the event, obviously. <laughs> this guy is ridiculous. This just isn't right at all. No, I mean, but chess.com doesn't do anything about it. So, like, I can't really complain. Because if they think, I mean, clearly they don't think it's a big deal. And it's a good reminder. I mean, he does the same thing every week. He does it every single week. And the chess.com just does not care. I'm going to go here. Go here. Knight f4, I have bishop e4, of course. Or knight f4, sorry, I just take the knight. What am I smoking? It goes there, so I go here to hit the rook. He goes back. He's going to go knight f5, obviously. So play g3, bishop f2, of course. Knight d8, logical move. I think I'll play knight f3 here. Idea knight e5. Have I ever played him over the board? No, I have not. He had a very big win in the Olympiad. He beat uh, Levon Aronian. A big, big win for him, actually. Let's go here and pressure, pressure the pawn. I think he made a mistake. Uh, he beat Levon in the Olympiad when Levon was rep representing the United States of America. Um, and he was representing Greece. He just crushed, um, he crushed, uh, he, he crushed Levon. Levon, I think in the opening it was unclear. He also had a massive win against, uh, what's his face? Um, Tamur Rajabov recently as well, um, in the European team championships. And now I should just be better. Go back. Um, I think I go back. Yeah, A3 allows other checks. Now there's Knight G5 incoming. E6 is weak. Of course, he finds knight d8. I and mean, I can go rookie one. Knight g5 is a move too. I should be better here, but I'm not quite sure how to prove it. So I think I'm going to go rook d3 to start, and b3, and then rook d1 over. I could, I, actually, I should have sacked and played knight g5, but whatever. Let's go here. He's, he's begging me to sack again. Okay, let me think about this. If I sack, takes, 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 knight d4. I mean, it's obviously playable. And I'm going to go for it. Let's go here. Go here and take the pawn. Bishop d4, which is a big problem as well. Also, maybe just c4. Should be a big advantage with the two bishops. Also, he just hung a pawn on d6. And he's way down on clock. 
Um, let's go here and hit the queen. There's also queen e4 with a double a battery. Might just be GG almost. If this bishop were on the other diagonal, it's definitely GG. Jose beat Gato, okay. Should have made the draw against Gato. Or not against Gato, against Jose. Let's go next game. I just have to keep winning and Jose has to lose to somebody. I'm aware of Graham Hancock's work about the loss of advanced civilization. Mainstream archaeologists are ignoring and attacking him. Uh, no, is, that sounds like something out of, um, that sounds like something out of, uh, something out of, um, whatchamacallit. That sounds like something out of that TV show they used to have on, um, they used to have on, uh, Discover, or History Channel. It was the Ancient Alien, Ancient Aliens, Ancient Aliens. That's what it sounds like. That's what it reminds me of. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's what it sounds like. It sounds like one of those History Channel things, Ancient Aliens. That's maybe the stupidest thing I've ever seen, by the way. Not to insult anybody, but just being honest. Go here and trade some bishops. Let's take. Um, let's go here. Go here and trade some trade some knights. Not just aliens; it's ancient aliens. Yes, that's. An, I've, I, I occasionally I accidentally peruse that. The few times that I watch uh, TV, I always see. I'm scrolling through the channel list, and I always see on History Channel ancient aliens. I'm just like, do people actually believe that? Like, is are people really that out of touch with reality? I'm wondering if I can actually go for this bishop h5, queen f2, king h1, knight g3, king h2. Takes, 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 takes. Rookie seven. H6, A3. I mean, it's probably playable, but I don't see any good reason to go for it, so I'm just going to play. I think I'm just going to go here. Now, again, he gives me this capture. Um, now, though, wait. No, it's still the same thing, though. So let's just go um, maybe rookie... Three, maybe? Knight f2, I just take, and king f2. Okay, now I should be in great shape. I just go queen e2, rookie one, triple stack. Queen b5, also a big threat. I'm going to win this game, too. I think, I think at this point, my, my really my main goal... Is just to try and um, it's just to try and play solid and gain rating points. Like if it's if it's not enough to win, so be it. Is my attitude. Like if I can't win, that's fine. But I'm actually having a good event. Like I'm gaining rating points. So if I can just gain some rating points, I shouldn't be too unhappy. Um, he goes there, which should not work. But I'm just gonna take, I guess. I can take with a pawn. I'll just go back, I guess, or I'll go here. Don't know why I went to f1. Probably I should have gone to e2. Oh, but now he gives me f4. Now he loses the game. I, or he doesn't lose, I guess. But he's in trouble. Uh, if I go b4. Takes, I have f5, g4. It should be winning. There's also rook e4. But if I could just go g4. Takes, takes. And then queen h3, queen f2, king h1 should be winning. There's also rook e4, I realize. There's rook e4 with a classic ice skater as well. Actually, this should just be very clean because he's just getting ice skater. And I can take with a rook and win the game. Yeah, it should just be very simple. Yeah, it should just be winning. All right, let's keep going. Okay, Jose won again. Uh, yeah, that, that, that game that I didn't take the repetition against him was very, very costly in retrospect. I'd also be close to 3250 if I hadn't taken the draw. So I take, oh, so I think 92 maybe. There's 92. Not so easy to prove, actually, now I'm looking at the position, though. Like, I, I am better here, but it's not easy to prove it. Maybe I just go, like, uh, I don't want to go F6. Oh, maybe I, uh, maybe I go, uh, then he's got G3. I'm going to win this position. This is very weird. Like, I should be winning here. Maybe I go F6 right away. No, I think I'm going to go here. It's very tricky. I don't, I don't know how I'm supposed to win this, actually. 
No. With D3, no. I gotta just move, actually. Oh, did I just want her G3, maybe? Oh, maybe I had King G2 also. No, oh, I think I have Rook E2 and I should win now. Um, I don't want to do this, but I kind of have to do this. This is not how I want to win, but I, I need to cheese him on the clock. Go here and take. There we go, and I got him. Now I can just take it now. Yeah, I, I win the game. There we go, next game. Let's keep going. 53. Yeah, I think I think my best, my, my what I'm just hoping is if Jose loses the game, fine. If he doesn't, so be it. Like... But if I can just keep playing good games and just get my rating up, I'm not going to be too unhappy. It's pretty crazy that one game, though, might be the difference between winning and not winning. I was not expecting that. Let's just play aggressive chess here. All I need. Got a garbage position again. It takes with the E pawn. It gives me a bishop about five at least. Let's go here, maybe take. I don't know what I'm doing this game. Now, what the heck am I doing, actually? What am I doing this game? I'm just playing like an idiot. Yeah, what the heck is this for me? That's ridiculous. I'm just I just dropped a piece for no reason in the opening. A pawn and a piece. Let's go back. No, that's a bad move too, because I forced knight f3. Yeah, literally, I said the one thing I want to do is just make sure that I don't do something stupid. Just try and gain rating points, and immediately I have to go and lose my mind. Could have played e5, too. Okay, at least now I get d4. I could have checked first, too, but whatever. Okay, but now I take, and I mean... Playable, at least. I miss rook a4, too. I should have gone king f8, king e8, too. But goes b4, which... I'll go here. Okay, I think I'm getting... Oh, I had D3 too. 
Hey, D3-2, maybe. Okay. I'm gonna go here, I guess. I'd be very careful. Okay, now he gives me C4. Now I probably win the game. He's too slow. Wait, don't I have D3, C3? Ninety four D two, or maybe I just go here. No, oh, wait a second. I got to think about this for a second. Wait. Now I go here and win. There we go. Another win. I was losing this game. This was a very bad game by me. And now I just take take and it's fine. Now I just win. There we go. Good. Go home. Okay, next game. Let's keep going. Just got to keep winning. Why I take the rook instead of the knight? Um, there's knight d5 takes the. Ridiculous. Of course, I played the wrong sequence as usual. I just lost a tempo for no reason. I'm playing an end game. Yeah, I mean, he's so, I mean, he's helping me. Yeah, but he's not intentionally losing. I mean, it's just like, it's ridiculous. Uh, now, Rook D1 is a move here, I think, to cut him off. I'm going to go Bishop D2 and Knight C3 here. Knight F4, I think, is a move. Knight C3. This is fine, I just take. B3, C4. I don't think this is actually good, because B3, C4, B4, okay. This guy is a serious stalker. Well, I mean, chess.com should, um, chess.com should, uh, be doing something about it, but they aren't. So what to do, what to do. I think I'm better just cause I've got a better Bishop, but I'm not actually hundred percent sure. I'm going to go here and put the knight on E3 probably. The algorithm, I mean, the problem with the algorithm overall, with Arena Kings, Bullet Brawl, etc., is that ultimately there are there are times that you end up with these pairings that are really just not quite right. Um, like, you know, wait, uh, I can't sack the Rook. I was hoping I could sack the Rook. I mean, he's going for a draw. I see his idea. Let me think about how I do this, though. If I take, 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 and go Bishop D2 and C3 or something. I'm going to go here on bishop d4. Knight 
Now I'm going to squeeze for a long time. I can't ever lose, but I definitely can try to win. Yeah, like I go here, bring the king up. Forget what I'm supposed to play g4. Somewhere I probably play g4. This is a classic um, Catalan structure. It's like, go here. Eventually, I think I'm supposed to play h4. He goes there. Wait, if I take and go g5. Go here. Ah, I missed f4, of course. Stupid. Very stupid by me. I have to go like work g1. I still have h5, g6, maybe. I also have g6 here. Wait. Go here and work g5. Maybe chances to win now. Maybe chances to win. Go here. I think I'm actually winning. Because he's going to get his rook trapped in jail. I'm just going to get h6, bishop, g7. Go here. Go rook d6, check king f1. Bishop g7 is gg as well. I think he's just lost. Yeah, this should just be winning because king f1 and then I have h7 he resigns. Let's go again. At least I'm gaining points. Okay, Bornick lost the streak, so I'm basically guaranteed to finish at least second, which is nice, if I play well. I was going to play this um, C5, right? Which I know is bad, but I don't remember why it's bad. Yeah, he keeps playing this stupid line. I'm going to go Bishop B3. I don't even know this is good, but whatever. Go here. Knight d4 may be a little bit better. Okay, just there. Knight d2 and trade some knights. Uh-uh. Oh, great. I blundered that. Lovely. I go here, maybe? Because knight g4, I can sack the rook. Okay, this should be fine here. Uh, I'm just going to go like rookie three. I could trade everything down. I think actually, yeah, I'm happy to go into this end game. Let's go here and trade. So I'm assuming that in the long term, the knight is better than the bishop with the weaknesses. Prima rookie two here. Jossmas has not played Nico. Yeah, I mean, that's the point. Yeah. He, he hasn't played any of these guys. Like, it is what it is. Now, if he takes, he's trying to be Bobby Fischer Jr. There's B3 and he's, I assume the bishop's getting trapped. But who knows? There's F6. Okay, so he still wants rookie. So I'm going to go B3, C4. Let's go here, C4 next move. It's going to kick the bishop out of town. Whatever tomorrow brings, I'll be there. It's an open eyes, yeah. If I go rook d7, rook d7, trade, trade, king e2, d5, b4. d7 takes, takes there, there. King c5 takes, king b4, king e5, king e3, king d6, king e2 takes, b3, c5, a5. Um, yeah, let's go for it. I think this is winning. I think this is winning. Unless my math is bad, I'm getting, I have too many tempi here. So I have b4 to stop c5, and I think I can just create an outside pawn. I think it's just completely lost. My math isn't great. I, I will be the first to admit that. Uh, let's just go a3. I mean, he, he's, he's losing. I, I have one, I have a bunch of waiting moves on both sides. Yeah, it's just easily winning. I just go h3. He'll resign. Okay, resign. Let's go next game. Okay, let's go again. Come on. Give me like a 2400 here. Oh, maybe I'll get Jose here. Maybe I'll play Jose. We should play, right? 
We should play here. No. We don't... How do we not play there? We're both done and we don't play? I mean, that's just insane. How do we not... Oh, Jose, did, Ho, Jose just unreadied himself. Oh, Jose with the dirt. Jose unpaired himself. Do you see that, you guys? He unpaired himself. He, he, he waited. Ah, that's stupid of me. That's very stupid. Let's go after him. I should have I realized he was going to do that. I should have realized he was going to do that. I'm such an idiot. Ah, I should have realized he was going to do that. That was stupid. Um, go D5. My knight on C3 a little bit misplaced here, but... I mean, I'll probably go bishop H6, but I don't have to. I can also just play F4, E5. Okay, goes there. I mean, rook D1 seems logical. Plays H4. I don't really understand H4. I mean, is he... I mean, he might try to play A5 in castles, but... Looks pretty insane to me. I'm gonna go a5. I think I'm gonna go a5 here. Takes okay, so the queen. Okay, logical. Let's go over k1. It's bishop d4, but I also have knight a4. Go g3. Logical. I'm gonna go rook fb1 here. It's queen before. I have rook a4 here, I think. Yeah, I think I have rook a4. So if he takes, I go queen c2. This should be winning. I mean, I should be crashing through on the uh, queen side here. I mean, he can maybe take. I'll pre-move it in case he doesn't do it. But this looks pretty terrible for Bortnik. I'm just thinking what to do if he plays queen b6. I assume I'll take with the queen, but I don't know. Or b4, queen c7, takes, takes, rook b4, should be winning. Yeah, Borg's going to use a lot of time here, but he's in a lot of trouble. Let's go here, pressure the pawn. Go here. I'm just go... I can play B3. I think actually, you know what I'm going to do? Bishop C5 is a move. I think I'm just going to go Bishop D2. And go here, pressure the pawn. I mean, he'll probably resign soon, I'm guessing. I mean, he's got no play whatsoever. He'll probably resign. I'm betting he'll resign here just to try and try and uh, get another game quickly. There's nothing he can do. It's just so bad. Um, I could go b3. I could go bishop f1. Yeah, let's just go to bishop g6. He just takes, takes. He'll resign now. Next game. Let's go. Resign. Let's go. Go. Resign. Come on. Resign. Let's go. Come on. You still have a, he still has a shot at third. I don't know why he's dragging this game out. I mean... Go here. I just don't know why Bornick isn't resigning because he's basically really hurting his chances by keeping the game going. Wow. Apparently he, uh, he thinks he's going to survive this position. I mean, even queen d6 wins, but I mean. Um, let's think about this. What's the easiest way to win here? Let's take. I mean, even fe5 wins. Like, all, all roads lead to Rome. Okay, let's just go, like, here. No, I'm not really frustrated. I'm just, I'm honestly a little bit confused. I just don't know why Bornick isn't resigning the game here, basically. Because he's, he's way down on clock. And he's, uh... 
I mean, yeah, I mean, you can go 94, bro, but who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I mean, even King G3 is fine, but... Let's take... He wasted like two minutes. I don't know why he didn't resign. He should have just resigned at the start. Yeah, very strange. Yeah, I don't, he could have saved himself a minute. Hopefully he doesn't get third anymore now. Because he should have resigned that with like two, two minutes on the clock. And of course, right on cue, I get the same pairing again. As I mean, this is ridiculous. This is just wrong. It's just not right. This is just not right. I mean, this is just not right. This is not right. I mean, he resigned. I mean, did he get kicked out or did he resign? Did he resign or did he actually get kicked? Is he online or did he get kicked? Did he get kicked out of chess.com there or not? He got kicked out. Okay. He got kicked. Okay. I, I mean, because he wouldn't resign there, right? So it makes sense. He got kicked, but okay, they actually they actually did something. Wow, who would have thought? Surprising. I don't know what I'm doing this game. Play here, hit the knight. Jose lost. Yeah, I saw that Jose lost. I could go a five here. Probably not a good move, but I'm gonna try it. D five, I know, is also a move there, but I'm gonna play this weird. Reminds me of the English. There's a line in the English where you go A5, A4. Why would he get kicked? Because clearly chess.com decided that it's not what he's doing is not allowed. Can I go queen B4 here, maybe? Because he's going to... Wait, actually, my opponent might just blunder this game. I might get a quick win here. No, it's, it's not even funny. Like, it's such an obvious... Uh... Actually, wait. Take, maybe? Knight A3, I just take and castle. If I, if I play queen b2, I think he can... Actually, knight b5 or something. I don't know. Whatever. So it's just castle. It's going to go... Wait, rook c1, maybe I can grab? Maybe I can. I'm not stongfish. Stongfish would take the pawn. But I'm not stongfish, so I can't take it. It's too risky. It's too risky going for that. Um... Okay, he plays bishop g5, very logical move. I guess I'll play here to hit the bishop. If he takes, I just take with the pawn. I'm very close to being better here, but it's not clean. Very close. Not clear at all. I have a chance. Yeah, I have a chance. I just have to keep winning. But Jose got a quick win. See, that's the thing, like... Somehow, these guys like Jose and Daniel, they win these games that I can't seem to win. They win these games quickly that I can't ever win. I don't know how they do it, but they just do it, and it doesn't work for me. I think I'll take with a D pawn and play E5 here. Like, here in E5 is my idea. They find a way to win games quicker than I do. He got a 2300? Okay. Yeah, nice. Okay, so I'm going to go Bishop H3. I mean, I should be much better here. G4. Mm, E4 is actually very good. Is it a very good move or is it just a bad move? Actually, wait. Wait, if I trade and go. Ah, I gotta move, you 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 gotta move. Let's just go here. I'm going too slow. Rookie 5, I just take. All I need is B6, C5. I just need to finish my development. Maybe I've got 97. Got to come with moves. You got to go. 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 Oh, let's just go H5, H4, I guess. So I really need to win this game fast. That's the other big pro part of the equation. That's a problem. Go here. Hit the rook. Okay, but now I'm going to get B6, C5. I also have H4. I'm just going to go here and C5. Five. I guess I'll go... I think I'll go here to keep an eye on the square. And now I'll go here, knight f6. Queen b2. I think I just go knight f6, hit the pawn. I had bishop e4, which is actually just winning the game. Shoot. 
I'll go here. I'm still better, but I have to be very careful now. Maybe I'm not even better, actually. Um, let's go. Let's go here. I'm gonna I'm gonna play Bishop A6. Hit the rook. I could have traded first. In fact, why did I just take? Stupid. Extremely stupid by me. Because now I have to go like now I have to go H3, and this isn't really what I want. I should. Just, I know you four. What am I doing? Go here. Of course, I blundered this. I might actually sack the queen. I think I'm going to sack my queen in a second. No, I shouldn't sack. Okay, I guess I'm going to bring my queen in this way now. How do I do this? Maybe like rook d4 or something. Go here. Um, maybe rook c8. Actually, I'm just winning. Good. I'm winning. It should just be winning. Yeah, it's just winning. Good. Very tricky. Let's take the rook. Take. It should just be mate, I think. Yeah, it's just mate. Okay, next game, let's keep going. Hopefully I can get some easy pairings, like a couple 2300s. Like, maybe I can pray to the gods that they give me like four 2400s in a row. Nope, no can do. Still a good pairing, but not the best thing ever. Actually, it's not a good pairing because I'm playing a GM. Of course he knows this. So I'll castle, play like rookie one. I've actually played this kid. This kid is from um, Romania. I played, I played him in, I think, Gibraltar a few years back. It was an IC5. I mean, B3 is a move. I don't want to spend too much time here. So I think I'm going to play B4. And then like D3 and takes. I mean, I don't know if this is actually good for me, but it looks plenty playable. Here's the pre-move. Thank you to Heather HZ for subscribing. Thank you so much. Okay, let's just go here and take. Okay, I think now what I want to do is just play simple chess. Like, I'm going to go A3 first. Maybe I'm going to play C4. Maybe. I don't know. I'll go here. Maybe knight b3, knight d4 actually is better here. See, there's no c5 square. So if I get the knight to d4, then I've got bishop g5, and this looks very, very pleasant for me. So I don't actually know. Is he castling? Both castles have serious drawbacks here, and his knight on d7 is very, very bad as well. Okay, I'm going to go h4 because he's no longer able to castle queenside. His knight on d7 is absolutely horrible too. Like, this is a dream position. Um, let's see. I guess bishop f4 is reasonable. Go like queen e3, queen d2, pressure the pawn some more. Okay, this is a desperado move, b5, just to give up a pawn. And I think I'm actually just going to ignore it and go like queen e3. I, think, I, I don't really have time, I think, here, so I think I need to go for broke. So I need to win this game quickly to put maximum, uh, maximum pain on, um, on my opponent, David Gavrilescu. I mean, maybe it's queen c3. But then just bishop b5 should be good. I mean, I'm definitely sacking here, without a doubt. He also doesn't really have many options here. This arena has 1,800 players, and I played Nicholas Theodore, I think, like, six times. I mean, can he, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care, and I don't care. He goes there. I can take and play bishop g5, but I think I'll just go here and take. I don't care. Like, if this is no good, so be it. I literally don't care. We're so late in the arena that I've got to do something. Okay, f5, there's queen g3, and peasant is a move. I think just bishop g5 is good here. I'm going to get a knight to g5, and positionally black is completely lost. There's a5, logical. I mean, you can obviously just take and take even, or just take right... Um, a5, knight a3. I'll just take, who cares? 
go h5 h6 should have probably played a4 first um let's go h6 why not g6 now there's h7 maybe h7 h7 is good a4 is a move queen h4 looks very strong actually h7 if he takes on a3 i think bishop f6 must be winning if that's not winning i, I don't really know why i'm playing chess anymore He's trying desperately to survive, but he's not going to. He goes rook f7. I'm going to go here and knight g5 anyway. Whole position's collapsing. He'll, hopefully he'll resign in a second. Because knight g5 is just gg. And takes also opens up the e-file here. Okay, resign. Come on, next game. Resign. Come on, resign. Let's go. Please resign. Because now I have h7, h8 also check I just take a 96 now he'll resign next game okay 81 go keep going keep going let's go 2400 please Jose please Can we get Jose no <sighs> I don't get a break oh that's so disgusting I don't get a break I don't get Jose he's sitting out again probably Back. Yeah, he's sitting out. He's probably he probably has my stream open on the other monitor. Fudge me. So stupid. Go a six ninety seven. Queen c seven is interesting. I'm not familiar with that move. Play queen c seven. Pairings are gross. Yeah. I mean, why doesn't he get kicked? Well, he's not manipulate. He might be sitting out, but that's a much different form. If you want to say that's manipulation, you want to say that's manipulation. I, I'm sorry, but like, as much as I want to win this arena, I think that's a little bit too far, honestly. Like, that's that's really going out of your way. I'm gonna play a6 and e5. Like, I mean, I guess you can say it, but I, I don't really feel like that. I, I don't feel like that's a good, good, good point. Uh, I'll play e5 here. I don't like my position actually. No, I, I got tricked. This is some kind of weird dank theory that I'm un unfamiliar with, I think. I'll go here. I mean, I still have some. I'm going to go here. I mean, I can go g6, which was my initial idea. I think I'm going to... It's no good, though, is it? Maybe. It... I mean, I'm going to play it anyway, because, I mean, why not? It's also gotten, like, knight d5s, maybe. This was stupid by me. I'm, I'm in a lot of trouble here. Uh, let's go check. But if I get knight g4, there might be some weird f6 trick somewhere in here. There's king g1. This does give me knight e4. Which I will play, of course. Maybe I should have played knight c5 first, but who cares? At least here I'm kind of pretending a little bit. I'm not really in the game, but I'm kind of pretending. There's rook h5, rook c6. I mean, I'm quasi-pretending, I guess is the way I would put it. Um, to go here. Have to guard the pawn. He goes there. Now, obviously, trade and play like rook h5, maybe. I think I'll do it. Maybe I should have checked first. I don't know. Whatever. Let's go here. Because now I have rook h8. I mean, it's still bad. But if I get rook h8, it goes rook c3. But actually, I'm not even sacrificing, really. Let's go here, I guess. Because knight d4, and it's starting to spin a little bit here. Wait, I go knight e4, e3, rook h4, so I guess I'll play here. I just have to find a way to keep the game going long enough. That's what I have to do. Queen c4, rook d6, rook d8. No, it's no good. Knight d4 here, maybe? Yeah, now I'm going to go knight d4. Go here. I mean, like, h4, g5. I mean, okay, I'm going to go here. 
trying. I mean, I'm really trying to create something messy. Okay, now I'll go G5. Yeah, it's getting a little bit messy now. Now this is getting sufficiently messy. Because G4, I have rookie 5, I think. Oh, whoa. Whoa, he trades? Wait, but I've got H3? Who's your 1H? Go here. Uh, I have chances, maybe. Chances might exist now. I mean, of course I should play H2. That has to be correct. I mean, probably I should try to bring my Rook around somehow. I should win this game if, uh, if I'm precise. Hopefully Jose got a bad pairing. That's all that I can hope for. That's a mistake. So now I get rook c6. And there's no rook d1 because I have rook c8 to always cover. So here in rook d2. Actually, c5, I have rook c6. No, I mean, I'm going to win this game. Yeah, I'm going to win this game now, I think. Yeah, I'm going to win this game. It's a question of whether I win this game quickly enough or not. Um, let's just go, I don't know. Let's go here, maybe. Take, go here in rook d8. That's a good pre-move. Good move, rook h6, rook d6, very good. Um, let's go here. Let's take. And now I win. There we go. It's not going to be enough to win, probably, but it's still very good. Yeah, it's not going to be enough to win because this game took me too long, but... Mm, pretty good still. Yeah, it's not going to be enough because Jose, unless he loses the next game. Yeah. No, if I had taken the draw early, I would have won this Arena Kings. But it's still, I'm gaining a bunch of points, so it's very hard to complain. Oh, I get... Yeah, but see, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter, even if this is a draw. Oh, frustrating. This is actually legit frustrating. Now, I get him at the literally the worst possible time, because he's going to draw this game out, too. Like, I, I should almost just offer him a draw, honestly. Frustrating, but that's life. Okay, let's play H6. Okay, I'll try to win this game just to at least finish on a, on a high. But he's going to make sure this game goes for a long time. Like, he's definitely going to make sure this game goes the full six minutes. Yeah, there's, there's just no way, really, to, to win this. Uh, I can play knight a5, knight a5, knight e7, maybe. I'm going to go for this. Probably not best, but who cares? Yeah, he's going to drag this game out, because even if I win at six points, like, I can't win three games in one minute. And bullet, maybe. And blitz, no chance. Knight e2. I guess I'll just go here. I should be better, though. That's the good news. I should be very slightly better in this position, for what for for what it's worth. Just there. I can play knight e4. This is decent. I kind of want to reroute my knight the other way, though. Um, how do I reroute the knight? Not e5. Um, moving a little bit too slowly. I, I mean, but the problem is if I move slowly, I, I mean, it's not enough anyway. But the, but the problem is it's just not enough no matter what. That's the problem. Like, it doesn't matter what I do here because I can't, I can't actually win. Um, not 94. Yeah, it's just... Okay. Maybe just rook d7 or rook d8. If c5, I always have knight d5. 
or queen b8. Just there. Logical. Yeah, it's, it's not going to be enough no matter what. So I should just focus on playing a couple of good moves. Um, this looks okay. Could have played bishop c6 too. There's takes, takes. There's also knight f5. Yeah, d5, knight f5 I can take. There's no bishop h6 now because the knight guards. c5, okay, I mean, I don't play really like c5. I mean, I can just take and go bishop d5 maybe. Still pro it's still only a draw though. That's the problem. Even even if even if this goes the right way, it's still only a draw. Uh, I don't even know what I'm doing here. I'm just playing poorly again. <sighs> Frustrating. Yeah, he's got this move, and now I've just messed it up as, as usual. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm doing. This probably blunders the game, but who cares? He had knight f5 first, which might have been stronger. Okay, but I'm still in the game, kind of. Okay, let's... Oh, what is that? That's just a blunder. That's just a huge blunder by me. Oh, this doesn't even work either. What am I doing? I can take and go e5, maybe. Problem is, again, this game's going the whole way. Okay, hangs this one. Oh, no, I threw it away. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I threw it away. Yeah, I threw it. Yeah. I threw it and it took too long. Yeah. That, that was probably a draw for a play, but whatever. I'm not going to get mad. 2,500, 3,100 in blitz. Yeah, I mean, it's what it is. I was probably okay if I played Bishop A2 first. But, I mean, it wasn't meant to be. Offer a draw. Nah, that's fine. No. That's what it is. Um, and that kind of ruins what was... Well, it doesn't ruin it, but messes it up. Yeah, I, I thought... Oh, G4, King... E, oh, my God. Was King E4 a draw? Wait, was King E4 a draw? Oh, I suck, actually. It was a draw. King E4 is a draw. It ruins the ELO. I still gained 30 points. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, I should I should have made I should have made the draw early. That was my mistake. I had the repetition like the fifth game of the event against him, or maybe like a little bit later. But it is what it is. I mean, I'll, I beat Jossman Blitz most of the time. Arena Kings, unfortunately, in that situation, yeah, that's what it is. He never plays over the board. I mean, like I said, it is what it is. Um, yeah, let's just take with the queen. He had your account open to void and put you on purpose in the end. Didn't even hide it on stream, by the way. Look, I mean, there was a reason that I avoided playing Arena Kings for about, like, six months. And unfortunately, I'm going to probably be avoiding Arena Kings again for quite a while after this. Because it's getting to the point where it's not really fun again. Because the problem with when I played before, there were two problems. The biggest problem was 
there were a bunch of people who weren't streaming who were like 1000 creating new accounts and just starting. And the second thing that happened is, um, is that basically the stream sniping, both those things happened. He is, yeah. I mean, obviously he's on Kramnik's list, but the problem with Kramnik is you don't know what Kramnik thinks about anything. Cause half, not half, like 99% of the stuff he says is complete rubbish. So like with Kramnik, I mean, that whole thing is insane, but he is on Kramnik's list. And he's on other people's lists too, but you know, whatever. I mean, chess.com can look at the games, whatever they do, they do. That's, that's going to be my stance pretty much no matter what on anything going forward. Um, like chess.com has the best resource. They have the best uh, technology. They can look and see if people are cheating or not cheating. That's, that's all that needs to be said on that. Um, okay. Let's find someone else to play. Um, was I, was I drawing that last game? Let me just take one look. If I go King E4, I think that was a draw. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Was that? Oh no, it's, it's still winning, but let me go back. Yeah, this was good, right? Oh, why did I play Bishop B1 actually? Yeah, A5, of course, A4. A4, A3, and I'm winning. Yeah, yeah, of course, obviously. Stupid, whatever, all good, yeah.